Did I call you a I was a, a, a Navy uh, SEAL team uh, Green Beret. It's hard for me to get Brandon the same license plates as you. Purple Heart one? Who wanted to get seven submarines? <laughs> like, <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. I'm joined by some of my best friends on the f planet here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have Eli, Angry Cops, Fat Electrician, and of course, myself. AK Man. AK Man. Hey guys! Oh, we got the. F which, uh, what are we doing with this episode name? Oh, so what was the last one? The fat, Too Fat, Too Angry. Too Fat, Too Angry. So, this is what? Fat and Angry Las Vegas Drift, Lost, I think. Yeah. Vegas Drift. Vegas is it drift. the Fat and the Angry? Or is it Fast and Furious 3? So, I Fat and Angry. The good, the, angry. Fat, the good, the Fat, and the Family. Angry. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, we just started a whole That's series a off of that. Family. Family. The Furious. <laughs> furious is going to stand. Oh, we're back! All the boys are back. Uh, Nick had a fantastic evening last night. You could I tell he was fucking ex hammered. Extremely yeah. sober. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses because I was too fucked up this morning to put contacts in. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were. I literally joked about you doing the Clark Kent bit yesterday, and then sure enough, you ended up in glasses. Yep. He was hurting. He was. That's dude, you. I, I haven't seen you that drunk, I don't think, ever. Oh, that's fine. I haven't either. That's fine. Well, I have. Uh, yeah, I have. you know you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one time. Yeah. And, and one time we, at yeah. band camp? Yeah, that one time at that one bar. Yeah. The one we hit the sensor. I almost died. Yeah. I and thought I was going to transcend to a higher plane of existence. We almost fought a guy that night. That was really fun. That was some funny shit. Yeah. Which one was this? Uh, we uh, can't talk about it on the podcast, but it was yeah, really fun. Yeah, yeah, we went to a bar. It was a good time. Allegedly. 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 That, was that AT4 bar? I had, I had to puke. No, not the AT4 bar. Different, no, different time. No, that was a different time, yeah. No, I, I, had to puke, I had to puke like at the bar, though. Like really? I was, oh, I was fuck that me. drunk. And then I was like, I just, I need to go puke. And I went to the bathroom and I couldn't puke. I came back out. And the bouncer. Oh, I remember that. In the, the bouncer, the, yeah. he's like, bro, he's a, a Marine that was a fan of mine. He's like, I'll make you something. And he, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I drank it and it tastes like, I don't know, spicy water with lime in it, I guess. And I drank it. And like 10 minutes later, I took a shit. And I got like 80% <laughs> more sober. Like over the course of one dump, it was the weirdest thing on the planet. <laughs> I and then, forgot about that, but it was fucking great, bro. And then, like fifteen minutes later, I took another shit, and I was completely sober. What the fuck I was a hundred percent sober. Like, you're like, you're you like, like, if I take one more <laughs> shit after this, I'm gonna transcend. <laughs> no, as I, 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 back to drunk, <laughs> <laughs> shit wrecked again. He's taking a shit. His wife's in the other room. All of a sudden, just this bright white light like, shines <laughs> from underneath the door, and he's there, cross-legged, just like floating above the. Dinner, and there's just like angelic <laughs> winds blowing everybody that's trying to stare at him. Shit number four, like Morgan Freeman starts narrating, you know, we, on, we only used 12% of our mind. <laughs> Fucking limitless. That, <laughs> most people only use 20% of their anus. Nick used 110% that day. Oh, well, it's good to see you guys. Yeah, yeah I'm up. happy. You're, dude, Nick is the kindest drunk. You are. I didn't know until you like leaned on me. You're like, yeah. The second the head touched, I was like, oh, my boy is feeling good right Yeah, I don't now. remember that. Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> in the, we did it one more time. I haven't felt hair on the top of my head in about 10 <laughs> years. <laughs> How's that feel? Good. It's Hispanic. Oh, bald head. Mm, I love it. I want to grab a Modelo right now and just start going after some lawns. <laughs> <laughs> and if that sounds like you... Vote early, vote off in San Antonio District 23 uh, in, in Texas. I almost called you David Bowie. <laughs> Hispanics for Brennan Herrera. <laughs> Don't you want your run to look great? I know I do. Is the Jews have nothing accent? to do with this. I don't know. I'm just going like Tijuana and everything. I haven't done a good Hispanic accent in forever. <laughs> We were having fun with the Asian ones down in the, the restaurant earlier. We were asking you about your last video. I am a video. Japanese I'm man. I'm a Japanese man. <laughs> what? what? Oh, that's another story. <laughs> the bit that we haven't released on the podcast. Yeah, apparently. it's going for Patreon. <laughs> oh, okay. So the entire <clears throat> bit, everyone got really <sighs> shit wrecked. Yeah, we it, was, talking, it was really bad. We were. Uh, he did his Asian video about Zhu Zhao or whatever guy's name was. And oh, Zhao, yeah, the guy that um, sold his soul to China for $15,000. Fucking dunce. You don't know this story? Oh, no. Long story what? short, there's two naval sailors that get caught selling information to the Chinese, the People's Republic of China. For 15 grand? So yeah. this is you one. Threw your so life away from so that. one of them, and these are some of the jokes are in the video, and I get more into it, but one of them made $15,000 over 14 payments from August of 2021 till like May of 2023. 
So, so literally, I, and this is the joke. I'm like, so you too can sacrifice your freedom and be a treason, be treasonous towards your country for the cost of a used 2016 Honda Civic. <laughs> it's fun. We still awesome. have the death penalty oh, for Jesus. treason, right? I mean, I hope so. Uh, they sure. only charged. They only gave him uh, like two years in prison. And get he this. leaked fucking and, important information and, though. 50, and a fifty five hundred dollar fine. He gets to keep nine and a half grand. I mean, Are they actually man, the, keep the it? shit like this makes me feel really good about paying taxes. Guess what he leaked though? Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's for a great cause. He leaked radar information for Okinawa, Did, which is in Japan. Which I don't know if you guys know this. Next to China, very close to China. Yeah. I mean. And as I a history I don't buff, think, I don't China and a Japanese are different states. You know they are two Look. different uh, countries. Uh, I, it is also separated I'm, by the Are you a Japanese man? Zero I'm a percent Japanese concerned man. about Japan's ability to defend itself. Not huh? even a little. Yeah. It, you know what? I just think that we need to give them all samurai swords again. Go on. And just give a couple of those big cool sailing ships with the red sail that's kind of slanted on the top. Let them go into China. And, uh, you know, just kind of make up for all the shit that happened in World War II to us, you know, for what they did to China. Wow. <laughs> it's a history book that, that could is, be written on that. Yeah. We, they How many it, babies can you cut through with your sword <laughs> today? You are Hiroto. What is it? Uh, sector 742? Unit or? 731. 731. Yeah. Thank you. One of yeah. the most violent things ever. Like, it's one all of the most atrocious atrocious things. And they're like, oh. and then the U.S. government's like, well... We won't try you. We just want to buy you the information. We'll let you go, but you have to give us the information, the science breakdowns of. Was like, that the, that was the bio. Germans when they did it all the information on like the Jewish kids and stuff like that, all yeah, the medical yeah, advances. The, the, oh, uh, was it uh, Doctor Mengele? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think the Holocaust. Yeah. Yep, yeah. So it was him, and then the unit seven. Unit seven thirty one was the Japanese equivalent, but they were worse. like borderline worse. Yeah, it was uh, probably you know, some you know, of the most what, fucked up things you've ever. What percent like, of the written. human body is water? Eighty percent, right? Yeah, you know why you know that. Because they freeze dried a person? No, they just took dudes, weighed them, and then put them in a convection oven until they were beef jerky, and then weighed them again. That's where that info came from. They did everything. I mean, did they add like the colonel's, you know, twelve, <laughs> 12 herbs and spices? Aren't, aren't you you're talking about? <laughs> that's a hell of a way to go. Do you mean you're, you're, like, you're uh, working on spices? This. Aren't you a colonel? <laughs> I am. I'm a Kentucky colonel. <laughs> I am too, motherfucker. That's right. Oh but yeah, yeah, you guys are. Where, uh, raise I'm your glass for Kentucky Colonel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's right. junior to me, so he still has to salute me. Uh, that's fair. I, I got that in the mail. I was so fucking happy. I'm like, hey, I'll get fucked, Cody and Rich. Jesus. Yeah. You know that you're friends whenever you do a good accomplishment. And you go, fuck my friends. I got to do it too. <laughs> yeah, because you, you're just showing off to people you don't like. If you're like, oh, look at this cool accomplishment I got. But they're truly people that you yeah. love and respect. If you're like, look at what I got, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> look at me. God, that word will always get me. <laughs> I'll never get I, a good I laugh. I, I, I know I've got, a guardian, I've got a guardian angel in the. <laughs> I know. G Van's our guardian angel. That's for fucking sure. He saves us. Uh, I had. Um, you were going to talk about. You, you really wanted to talk to us about a Medal of Honor oh, situation. Okay. I don't. I forget. So it's come up a couple he was times. So pissed. <laughs> fucking. Okay. So, and I think you were there for one. I think you were there for one. You're always there on every episode, so you were there for a while. Brandon has one, I think. Yeah, he has two, three, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three according to Reddit now. Oh, yeah. you guys. Listen, it's a legitimate award. He served during Nam. okay? <laughs> he is a war fighter. I remember Normandy Beach. See? <laughs> That's his first stolen battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was pinned by Gerald R. Ford. <laughs> Gerald? <laughs> yeah, the president, Gerald yep. Ford? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no one on you for that one. Yep. So, so the I, story, though, wait, he didn't know that Gerald Ford was a president or no, I did. I was super hammered and I'd recently done a video about Gerald Ford. Was he useless? Uh, no, it was just funny because he was oh, like okay. the only president that was never elected at all. Right. Oh, yeah, because he he got he it was Nixon and Spiro Agnew was the VP. Spiro Agnew got busted for taking bribes, so he had to step down. And at that point, secretary the, of state, right? No, the president can assign a new VP. And so Nixon, who was homeboys with Ford, mm -hmm. called him. and was like, hey, fill in, whatever. And then Nixon got busted with the Watergate thing. So he had to step down. And then Gerald Ford became president. Wasn't even fucking elected at all. That, that's <laughs> Take your my, shit, America. That's my favorite joke in that 70s show is when Red Foreman makes that that thing where, like, the, 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 the mom in that show says something like, well, uh, you know, I just I didn't vote for him because of blah, blah, blah. And he's. 
Nobody voted Kitty. for him. Nobody voted for him. <laughs> 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 it's such a subtle history joke. It's like, all right, that's that's clever. Is the only president on that. That is the only president that's just been put into power like mm-hmm. that. Awesome. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, speaking of stolen valor. <laughs> so- <laughs> Fuck off, Richard. <laughs> I was showing the pictures today. I was like, oh, yeah, Reddit loves Brandon right Why now. Why do you think he's got all those Americana guns? Because he's <laughs> pretending to be in the military. Not pretending. Yeah. Oh, kids, he, he has a legitimate Medal of Honor. That's right. I forgot that you had your service redacted because of all the super cool missions you were on. Oh, yeah. yeah so, I was, I was uh, a Navy uh, SEAL Team uh, Green Beret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. SEAL Team 7. SOG. 89. Yeah. Six, oh, SEAL Team 69. Excuse yeah. me. Meme Team. 69 and a half. He was carried over. Didn't pass the first half of Buds, but he came back for the second half. Cody? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I miss you guys. Story? Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> I usually saw him like, uh, I was like, it's going to register. I was like, no, he's just staring at the mic right now. Yeah. I was, yeah I, there's all these lights on here, and I can't Don't stop touch looking at him. Don't fucking single one of those. I didn't touch this now. I'm just watching the lights go up when I say words. Oh. See, it went up higher. <laughs> So, you and my son like have my a lot in common. It's like my when women are around. <laughs> oh, what's that? You and my son have a lot in common. Tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> if we both sound like we're touched subtle. by you. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, Danny. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. All right. Back to the oh. story. <laughs> So, I my, I watch some of the episodes of Unsubscribe, obviously, because I, I catch up with what's going on through your guys' life. And then my fiance does, and so does her mom. Her mom loves all of you guys, um, it's terrible. not you, yeah, it's and okay. especially you. And they're like, they're, they're like, oh, they're talking about back. Rich again. Hey, they keep talking about Rich. Oh, Rich, they're talking. The, the guys talked about you on Sun, Unsubscribe. Oh, so cute, blah, blah blah. And I'm like, oh, what they talk about? And they're like, oh, I don't know. Here's the timestamp, you know. So I, I watch it, and on three <laughs> different episodes. These fuckers are like, oh, fucking Rich High got drunk and took a Medal of Honor and wore around his neck from Clint Romashaw and was just walking up and down the Texas street, just bebopping around with it, dangling on his neck like some sort of rapper chain. Just, hey, how you doing? I, I did this for you. All the children I saved, that's what I got this for. And I'm like, hold on. And like, Crispy was just like, holy fuck, that's fucked up that he would wear that. I'm like, fuck it, you burnt Cheeto. No, I didn't just... <laughs> Just grab somebody's thing from Kmart and throw it on my fucking chest. <laughs> you burnt you. Burnt Cheeto. I'm I'm Cheetos I'm, are my favorite, so I it's not an insult. Cha- I'm changing Crispy's name in my phone. Burnt Cheeto? To burnt Cheeto. All of us. So it's probably what his dick looks like now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Crispy's going to be like, oh. I always love hearing the audience react to jokes we make. Just like, Jesus I fucking Christ. I'm from the fucking peanut gallery. Uh, <laughs> so I got... I got Burnt Cheeto yell, being all upset. I got, I think Jack Mandeville talked about it. I forget if Jack did. I know yeah. Ethan talked about it, or Evan. Evan Hafer talked about it. And I was like, these fuckers are all like making it seem like I just stole this medal off of some homeless guy in, in front of D.C., which is what they do with veterans in D.C. They hate you. And <laughs> maybe somebody will change that. Brandon Herrera <laughs> for, for Congress. Congress. I'm going to throw the that in The Committee on Veterans time. Affairs. Uh, Brandon Herrera. So, vote Brandon. do you like to over imbibe an alcohol? Brandon Herrera. <laughs> I have a vote for him. It's a vote for alcohol. <laughs> would, would you, would you like a vote a, for Brandon is a vote for alcohol. Yeah, right. Brandon, Brandon not the shirt. Your t-shirt. Uh, yeah. That is a really good shirt. I can't wait till Twitter finds this fucking podcast. I know. <laughs> well, what's, what's funny is they're going to find it after the election and they're going to go fucking ape shit. Mm-hmm. Buffalo cop and congressman. <laughs> Racist Buffalo cop. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Buffalo oh, cop. Oh, just, Mexican well, congressman. So it's, it's my favorite thing because it's happening to me now what used to happen to you. And oh, it, it's yeah. my favorite yeah. thing. Because every, every fucking article written about me is always starts with congressional candidate Herrera. Like it's just every, I'm like, God damn it. Can it, anybody say just like guy who makes dick jokes on the internet, you know, right. Brandon Herrera, whatever. It's a like congressional Second candidate. Activist. I see congressional candidate, my fucking heart rate goes up. It's like, God damn it. Another you know, fucking article written. Mine's but it's like, Buffalo Cop. 
Mine's always like disgraced Buffalo police officers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Suspended for social media content. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. God. Jeez, that doesn't twist the article into something. Oh, anyway, metal bomb. No, yeah, because we uh, got to talk in, about involved the, in, the, Involved the, in physical alter, altercation with black men. Oh, well, jeez, it's almost like I just arrest everybody, and one day it happened to be somebody else. You don't discriminate. Like, everyone's on the table. You beat yes. the fuck out of everyone. Yeah. Oh, hey, <laughs> Mexicans, whoa. I dispense <laughs> justice blacks. appropriately is the way that the... Uh, a general G- attorney general's office is going to try and frame it. I don't know. They do not. Oh, oh, I'm getting investigated by the attorney general's office. <laughs> I'll tell you that in a minute. What the fuck? Yeah, Letitia James is a person that was elected, and in the attorney general of New York. So that is a fact. That's not a negative. That's just a thing. That is true. Thank Correct. you. Yep. Words are mm-hmm. important. <laughs> we'll get to that. So. So why is she? A- uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> But if she, bleep that word. If, yeah. if she were, that is, that is why would that word. be true? We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. So, Medal of Honor. Well, before we talk about Letitia James, the Attorney General, let's get my balls in a sling right now. We'll talk about Medal of Honor. Oh, I think I speak for most men when I said we want to have sex. What's that? Better sex. Oh, and for the sake of a partner, we need better sex. That's right, and that's why we partnered with the people over at Joy Mode. So whether you're trying to spice up those intimate moments or increase your confidence in the bedroom, Joy Mode makes all natural and science-based supplements helping dudes (laughs) perform better. The trademark product, the Sexual Performance Booster, is an everyman solution for increased blood flow, firmness, stamina, and performance. It's like a pre-workout for sex. All ingredients have been assessed in peer-reviewed journals, and all ingredients have been studied and researched in humans. It comes in a discreet palm-sized packet, just like your favorite electrolyte drink. Just mix it with six to eight ounces and wait 45 minutes. So throw away those cheap gas station pills and get on board with Joy Mode. Let's get everyone boners. It creates blood vessel support, cardiovascular and health. Athletic performance. My erection is like a spry spring chicken now, thanks to Joy Mode. Redefine your intimacy by going over to usejoymode.com and use code unsubscribe to save 20%. Ingredients with integrity. Joy Mode. So what happened is, is I was at an event like this, where it was a veteran organization bringing a bunch of veteran and veteran-owned businesses, businesses together. I'm from New York. And so what they were doing in their business I was hanging out with Clint Romashaw, who happens to have a, he happens to be a Medal of Honor recipient. That uh, was it, like fantastic human. Yes, yeah, so like, was it was it Red Ridge or Red Wing Operation Red Wing Operation Red? No, that's that's the Seals. Red. I, I thought it was Red. It was Red something. I'm blanking on it. Sorry, Clint. Off, off the record, was it uh, Bur- Burbiz? Yes. Uh, yeah. Also, Clint is one of the most read his story that dude, and he's one of the most super cool dude, kind just dude you will ever meet. Kind, quiet guy likes to go dove hunting. Super country boy, Minnesotan, just down to the bit. So he's he's an awesome guy. And he has a couple. Is that cool to say on the record? Actually, yeah, that's if fine. He didn't, okay. No, yeah, Burbis yeah. is great. Yeah, they're fantastic. Shout yeah, they're, out they're a great group. Yeah, yeah I just didn't know if you wanted. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I'm all about them. This is fine. So we, they, you know, Clint comes out with us. And, you know, they take care of Clint. And they take care of all the veterans that they bring out there. You know, to you know support the Burbis event. And you know, we all have a couple of drinks. And I notice that Clint is taking off his Medal of Honor and he's handing it to people. And he, like, I don't know what's going on, but and he's you think like opportunity. He's getting a rise out of them. And I'm like, all right, something's happening. I don't know what, but something's happening. And so then Clint comes over to me, and he's like, Rich, what's going on, man? You, uh, you want to see my medal? I don't know why he sounds like a fucking Californian <laughs> dumbass, but he's just like, hey, Rich, you, you want to see my medal? You want to hold it? I was like, bro, that would be very interesting. That is not something that I would ever thought I would be doing. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll hold it. And he hands it to me, and right away I can tell it's in two different pieces. So I'm like, this fucker <laughs> is going to try and think that he's going to make people think I broke his medal of honor. <laughs> And and so because <laughs> so the star with the Statue of Liberty on it can detach from the blue ribbon that you wear around your neck. And so he hands it to me and I'm like, and they're two separate. And I'm like, son of a bitch. You know, like I knew something was going to happen and I'm ready for it. And then Clint goes, oh, you broke it. Oh, look, Rich broke it. And everybody's just like, huh, what? And I'm ready for it because I knew something was going to happen. He was setting me up. And I go, oh, man. And I flip over the Medal of Honor. And on the back, it usually has the inscribed given Who to, by, yeah. to, you know, Clint Romashaw, blah, blah, blah. I go, <laughs> oh, no wonder it's broken. It says made in China. What a cheap piece of shit. <laughs> And he's just like, what? And he's like, holy shit, what did he say? And 
So then, but on the back of it, it actually says replica given to Clint Romashaw because the real one he wears with his uniform, and mm. then the replica is one he wears to events because oh, so, obviously. So you stole Valor on Stolen Valor? That was given. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fake medal. You know, that you didn't you didn't even earn the real medal, but you, you you stole the fake medal. Brandon, can you make a replica pistol fire? I don't answer that. So I guess it's <laughs> not medal on YouTube. Was real. I can't. So I guess this medal was real. <laughs> and I mean, it'd still get me free wings at Ch- Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you keep it? it? <laughs> so I so like they still gave me the. Like, no, hold on, uh, hold I was on. like, wait, they, did you keep it? They, I thought you flew home with it. They still gave me a one hundred percent discount at Seven Eleven, so it's a real <laughs> pistol. Right? It's, it works. So I. Uh, I forget how, but then I think Clint put it on me. And because I do, I don't know how I got it on me, but I think I'm pretty sure he put it on me because who else would put their a Medal of Honor around somebody else's neck that isn't the recipient? And you don't tell a Medal of Honor recipient not to put it on you. If yeah, what am I going to do? It. No, Clint, don't do what you want to do with the thing that you got. No. Yeah, Brandon did that to me when I tried to pin him with my purple heart. Well, even though he's well, got, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, so yeah. rude. Although a Medal of Honor recipient himself. <laughs> Hey, how, how hard would it be to get Brandon the same license plates as you? A purple heart one? Are we just getting Let's start the, making hell. Let's start making hell. Well, as long as I had premier parking at BJ's. So. <laughs> I love it. That's my favorite part about it. It's the best parking in the world. I'm like, you, you guys have strong armed me into stolen valor, and it really pisses me off. <laughs> oh, no. Don't stop. The free 7 Eleven, the great parking. Uh, but yeah, so I wore the medal of, his Medal of Honor, and I'm just walking up and down the street in Texas for about 20 minutes, just being like, I did this for you. And yeah, go ahead. And just, uh, yeah, just having fun, uh, you know, pretending to be a Medal of Honor recipient, but kind of being a Medal of Honor recipient because I was given it by the recipient. So technically, I'm half of a Medal of Honor recipient. Did anyone see it? We're like, huh. I don't know. Because I was was a little sauced at that point. I just knew that I was getting set up. And then once I knew that the setup was okay and everybody was chill with it, especially Clint, then I was like, oh, I'm going to have fun with this. That dude keeps the pocket Medal of Honor. Like, Oompa has ginger. Yeah. yeah, it's like pocket sand. He's just like, middle of honor. Pocket sand. Yeah, it yeah. is all wrinkled up. I love it. It's, like, it's a spare one, but, or back in the day, it was actually the nice one. Mm-hmm. You just keep it wadded up his wallet. You're and actually like, better Wait. off because you're one of the only people that's ever been actually awarded the Medal of Honor without being touched by Obama in recent years. And the other one. How many Medal of Honors have been actually distributed in the last five years? Oh, jeez. Well, not many, I don't think. Yeah, post is like very rare. I mean, well, you got yours in the seventies, right? Fuck so. off. <laughs> Each administration R- gives Brandon I'm one. Like, <laughs> I'm hitting you under the table, Richard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brandon. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandon. I'll steal your, I'll steal some, some fellow later with you. My, my, my consultant. I just always imagine him watching the podcast like fucking, uh, uh, what's his name, Ben Affleck. With the cigarette, just <laughs> 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 fuck my life, dude. This dude's fuck, fucking burn this I, to the goddamn ground. So I've been on the stand a couple of times for uh, <laughs> obviously for arrests that I've made, and then also for like social media stuff. Well, no, 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 not for my social media stuff. Like, really, the, the intent isn't that I'm there for social media. The intent is there. I'm in a law enforcement capacity. Right. Like I, just, I just mean they, they don't they don't bring up the social media stuff they, on the stand. So oh, they, they do. do. Yeah. So a couple of times, and I'm ready for it. <clears throat> but, oh, wait, uh, yeah, I forgot you guys never done a podcast. We were talking about that. I forgot this is yeah. the first one with Brandon, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Our, I think it's our first podcast. <sighs> I never really liked him anyway. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, dude. I was just going to say, Rich is one of my favorite people. I, I really I enjoy him, but, you know, fuck him. Never mind. Uh, good. Mexicans. Now we know who right. has the power in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Always wants my approval. Oh, I'm never going to give it. Brown people. You'll never get this. You'll never, never get, get this. this. You'll so never you get this. Right back, yeah. my little bitch. <sighs> <laughs> my little Hispanic maid. You know, my the power of the relationship leader. lies with whoever cares the least. So uh, <laughs> cares the least. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every photo we're in, the green line's oh, always God. leaning this way. I know about the green line. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're in the middle of the fucking table, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and I held all the power. <laughs> 20 well 23 today yeah 23 today. that's why we do push-ups is for brandon yeah to do it better we don't we don't do it to prevent him we do it so that he does it <laughs> we're like 22 maybe he'll do it today congressional maybe candidate takes a stand we, against he just, obesity he just keeps getting like <laughs> videos from all of us doing yeah, just, like, just staring at the camera being like do it brandon do it for the veterans yeah. <laughs> of which you are. <laughs> oh, there's gonna. I just want to make sure those those, on this one are gonna those be Medal great. of Honor winners. I just want to make sure they're safe. You know, we are. 
So yeah. taking the stand. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I, I, uh, I've taken the stand for uh, criminal proceedings and also uh, like civil suits against like the city and the department when somebody gets their butthole in a bunch, and they're like, "You didn't," you, uh, and we're like, "Whatever." So you'll get you have to go up for a deposition, and one time in particular, which was great, um, because I was called to court and I had to testify, I was being paid to show up to court. So I got paid. Unfortunately, it was eight hours of a deposition, which was forever. But I got paid to watch my videos in court and they broke them down and they were like, and specifically they were after, ready for this, they're after the crack house videos. Really? They're like, what is uh, what makes, what is a crack house? And I'm like, oh, it's the just house any, with crack in it. Yeah, I'm like, it's any dilapidated <laughs> building. You just see a dilapidated building. They're like, oh, okay, are there, um, are there a lot of crack houses on the east side of Buffalo where there's black people? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yes. I'm like, yes. You're just there's, like, yeah. There's crack houses everywhere. Black, uh, You're the one with the data sheet, you tell me. <laughs> so. So then, like, the, what do the numbers say? So they play the video again, and and, and they're like, you know, blah 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 blah. You just have to look him in the eye, like, I don't know, I don't see color. Did did you hit him with the crack home line? It's not crack house, it's crack home. Yeah, <laughs> no, that would have been hilarious. No, but they they were like, and uh, and they're, they're like, who uh, is there, does does any like one group of people typically do you know crack more than the other? And my I swear to God, my answer was, I go. Oh no, everybody loves crack. I got black, white, Hispanic, everybody loves crack. Everybody loves crack. Everybody loves crack. Everybody loves crack. Yeah, white people, black people, Hispanic people, crack is king. Oh yeah, so everybody loves crack. They're what like, was the response to that? We were like, oh, yeah, well, that? <laughs> crack is fucking dope. Angry Cops 2024. Yeah. <laughs> crack does You like crack. Both for Brandon is a vote for crack. <laughs> Eli. Wake up! Huh? I know that the ghost bed pillow is super comfortable and has cooling technology, but we're shooting an ad right now. You mean this ghost bed pillow? That yeah. one! Cooling technology? Cooling technology? It's hot in Texas, but that's cool. Eli, I know you're cooler than the backside of a pillow, but with ghost bed, you don't have to turn the pillow over. It has cooling technology. Every mattress has a 20-year warranty. Some even have 25. And you can try it out for 101 nights. If you don't like it, you can send it back. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I have hard feelings for ghost bed. I have a hard feeling for you. I'm really hard. <laughs> The pillows have cooling technology. And so do the mattresses. The mattresses do too. <gasps> hey, Cody, did you know GhostBed also offers bundles? Bundles? You get everything you need. Just choose from your four mattresses and pick your bundle. So whether you need a mattress and a frame, or you just want to choose it all, like their cooling pillows and sheets, you can get the best bang for your buck. Right now, GhostBed is offering 50% off everything. If you use the code unsubscribe, click the link in the description or go to ghostbed.com slash unsubscribe. That's right, ghostbed.com slash unsubscribe and get 50% off right now. <laughs> I, I don't think that's quite this. right. <laughs> oh, the memes are going to be good from oh, this. this is it's a good one. Like, I don't want to be with the rich <laughs> ever again. So could we, we release this episode after March 5th? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna say June sixth again. <laughs> January, right, it was January sixth. June sixth. January sixth. Yeah, but June sixth, the one, one that you're planning for the. Uh, oh, we shouldn't Jesus talk about. Christ. The, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought he wanted to do one six months later, so we could do it by no, annually. I, I, would, I would prefer. Uh, uh, he talked was to it me June, the elevator all about it. We're gonna rise again. Yeah, June fourth. Like, we're, we're, we're gonna Texas, invade. So. We're gonna invade France again. Yeah, he was saying the South yeah. will rise again June sixth. Oh, okay, because like, he's, he's going for Texas. <laughs> And it's on the southern border. I don't understand. Why is everybody pushing back on this? Brandon, you gave me the elevator talk. You're like, no, it's going to be great. <laughs> You're not going to go with make the South He's great really again. He's really focused on <laughs> it's not your marketing. Congress, yeah. Stop smiling about this. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say this is not true. Not I, just stare at him and laugh with a no, smile. I, I, ju I just, I just, I'm just. <laughs> Overwhelmed by how much I missed Rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He's like the no, best of people. Side note, congratulations on getting on that local paper in the uh, vegan restaurant. Oh. We were so proud of you for that fucking paper. How many times are you going to spit out your drink today? You're just like four. I haven't had breakfast, dude. You're really having a ball. Aren't I'm you? having a ball. It's it's a great shot. You're a special guy. Yeah. Because uh, of the mental disabilities. Three in the afternoon. I it's great that we're finally going to vote one of those people in. You know, they can do anything. Oh, right, uh, they Brandon. just did that. I, uh, who was it? France or uh, Spain? I think oh, just, yeah, uh, they, uh, Down syndrome. somebody with Down syndrome. Yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah. a female. Hmm? Let me what? see them cheeseburgers. Well, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to argue with you. Give me that grilled cheese sandwich. Give me that grilled cheese sandwich, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, that son of a bitch is making me oh. night. I'm not making them at night, Jan. 
I'm making, making it night. night. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. King Trout. Uh, King here. Trout, everyone. This is Brandon's beautiful, campaign beautiful. manager. <laughs> yeah. Which explains so fucking much. Did you, Did you I love your cheese? address like... I got that grilled cheese. He's dressed like a guy from Detroit that's in Las Vegas. That's what he's dressed like. My first time here, really exciting. Brandon's got fat burger. Brandon Herrera. Like is it up no, to okay. his standard? I'll get some later. Yeah, take a bite. Is, is it in and out? What is it? No, it's fat burger. How was fat burger? It's good. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, fuck yeah! Mm. Hey man, uh, a vote for Brandon is a vote for burgers. I got what I need. A vote for you. a stranger's meat in your mouth is a vote for Brandon. So how was when? Wh- who told you about the article? I said pig. Oh, what was it? It was like so pig. Pig in. There's my face. The ugliest photo I think they could have used, which I mean makes sense. So the top of it in big bold letters said pig in, and the bottom said pig out. And the top half of the top third of the page was all about me. And it was like, it, it was just total propaganda of like how I'm a shitty person and how he's done all these things. And like none of it's, you know, it, it's all just so slanted on one side. If I pulled over somebody and gave them a ticket, they'd be like, Pulled, pulled an, uh, an, an, an Asian American elderly female with diabetes over and gave her a ticket for speeding. You know, I'm like, well, when you say it like that, it sounds horrible, but I just gave somebody a ticket for speeding. All so, I did was hit her. <laughs> <laughs> you just described the most dangerous. It's all either twist Twitter or <laughs> political campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> richest channels. <laughs> I remember reading that out loud. Like, I was with my family at Christmas when that came out. Reading what? Uh, the, the article when it came out. Which article? The, my, my thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This it was, it was funny as shit. And my brothers were like, did he did he really do all that stuff? I mean, kind of. But well, yeah, I mean, really. did. Yeah. 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 Don't say it like that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he hit somebody on a motorcycle. It's called a fucking accident for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it's, fucking, it's a motor vehicle accident. Wait, you hit somebody on a motorcycle? Yeah, like three years ago. On purpose? No, it's oh. called an accident. So he, d- he died though. In Asia? No, lady? he was fine. He tried to fight me in the hospital. What? And then he, yeah, and then he, and then he sued the city and me. What? Yeah, he's just like you, you broke me. And I'm, and I was like, when I gave you your tickets in the hospital, because I immediately gave you aid. Like you tried to, you literally jumped out of bed and tried to fight me. And then his suit's going nowhere because on when, when he was interviewed by like the Channel Four News, not a fan of me. Uh, he he brilliantly <laughs> stated. Well, yeah, uh, the officer had his lights on, and my friends and I all flew away from him on our motorcycles. I'm like, did you just admit on the interview (laughs) fleeing fleeing (laughs) from me when I'm trying to stop you from being jackasses on your motorcycles, zipping in and out of cars, potentially hurting somebody? Uh, Anyway, so anyway. Oh, they were running. What's the great part about motorcycles is that you're not going to hurt somebody else. No. (laughs) You don't have to have insurance on them. Kind of. It's like one of the few motor vehicles. Well, in uh, Washington and... LA and everything, you didn't have to have insurance. I don't need to pay insurance in Texas. Fuck. Yeah, because chances are you're just gonna die if you wreck. So that's how they look at it. They're like, I think I think you still need liability, at least in in Texas anyway. But yeah, yeah. you're just gonna, you know, what are you gonna do? Hurt a minivan? Right. Brandon, you know, a Mexican not paying insurance is unheard of. (laughs) So this is a first (laughs) one off. (laughs) From what I'm told. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Well well we're starting to import them up to New York now, so Oh no, you you're Mexicans do not they don't. Mexicans get forced He's out by Puerto cold. Ricans, and Puerto Ricans do not like Mexicans because people confuse Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. Mm. But unless you're in New York, because if you're in New York, then everybody's Puerto Rican. And then the Mexicans are like, no, man, I'm, I'm Mexican, you know? <laughs> I yeah. love your Mexican accent. It's so terrible. It's so bad. <laughs> it makes me so <laughs> happy. It's so bad. <laughs> it's like, hey, what are you doing? <sighs> what, are you, what are you... What, what do you mean? But that place was in a <laughs> breakfast place, and they're like, here's oh, just so, a fucking so article Sophia about... Margera accent. <laughs> yeah. like it. Beautiful. Um, recently single, Sophie. How are you doing? Oh, shit, I'm taken. What happened Damn to Ed O'Neill? <laughs> the other split. Oh. Okay. So, anywho, uh, article yeah comes out, says all these things about me, and makes it you know in a in a in a bad light. And then the middle article, and you can tell it's just it's just horrible propaganda. They talk about like Cop City in Atlanta, and now they're like they're spending a hundred million dollars on these cop training facilities to train them how to shoot. And you're like. Yeah, that don't should you, be a good thing. Don't you fucking want them to know how to shoot? And and then and and that's its own thing because it's all about fire and like their their fire department and and their city and stuff like that. So everything in there is just slanted towards anti cop hate. And the bottom says pig out, and it's our retired sheriff because uh, he retired and didn't run again on the last term. And they were like, he's a piece of shit because he was taking uh, photos with people at a protest and they were white supremacists. 
three of them. And so since he was there, he's he supports that. You're like, no, dude, he's just the sheriff making sure that there's law and order during a protest, which anybody could do, racist or not. And, and he's just like, okay, cool. Enjoy your protest. And then walked away. And they're like, bigot. That thing he's like legally required to do. Yeah. <laughs> So just in a photo, just getting fucked. Yeah, so then uh, you so the sheriff you, was there making in. sure there was no violence at a protest. Yep. Doing his job. Did you like thank them for the, the article when you picked it up? Because you oh, went I, and got I just, one. That's my favorite part. Well, you went and picked one up in person. I mean, I picked up the only one that I saw. So <laughs> I went to the, the coffee place because it was on like a community bulletin board. And my friend sent a photo of it to me, and I was like, where is it? She's like, it's at this coffee shop. I'm like, of course it's at that coffee shop. So it's, it's not a coffee a, shop. that coffee shop. It's called. It's got oh. really good coffee. But so everybody should go there and. No. Jesus Christ. They're good people. But of they're, course the uh, Irish laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shut up, Protestant. <laughs> they're drinking the background like. <laughs> We're just here at, at, at Catholic coffee shop. <laughs> you know what? I heard him talk about it at lunch. He's like, I can't stand it. The Arabs brown washed car bombs forever. It's like, we started it. You know? You don't take away our history. And I was like, hey, yeah. I get it. I get it. Bye, bye, Dave. <laughs> Enjoy bye. your pee. ATF is still coming, bud. He's building a Put a vest right on now. your dog. <laughs> oh. Next person goes to the bathroom just blows up. <laughs> Jesus, Dave. <laughs> That's not how you blow up a bathroom. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> Good. It is if they're not Catholic. <laughs> now, Nick, we were talking earlier. I wanted to deep dive onto your, um, the, the guy you just did a video about of the best anti-hero now. I don't know about best. He's one of them. Though. You said it in the fucking video. I said he's one of the best. <laughs> okay, well, it's a fucking dope ass story because I well, never heard of that. How long did, yeah. you, so how long did you have to something. deep dive for that? How, how do you get on those it? tangents where you're like, this oh, one was individual? Like, how'd, they get, how'd they get tanks on the beach at D-Day? And then I Googled it and I was like, oh. Oh, shit. You text me at like 2 in the morning. You're like, Bro. I'm working on a video. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was fucking freaking out for like four hours. I was like, oh, shit. The Germans didn't invent the Blitzkrieg. It was this guy. See, I didn't know that. Why'd Where you text you? me about that? Huh? I was curious. I don't have many people that are up that late that would understand. Uh, that's fair. I don't like, have that many autistic what those friends. Words are, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, huh, so, so, so the Blitzkrieg <laughs> doesn't want to text Dude, the German awesome. guy what Blitzkrieg might be. Yeah, I'm not interested at all. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> well, you're asleep. Yeah, I'm up till two in the morning. My shift oh, there you go. Fuck it. So Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, this, what, a vote for Eastern Standard Time is a vote for Brandon Herrera. Oh God. A vote for <laughs> car bombs, Brandon. That's the most offensive one yet. <laughs> <laughs> so this gentleman <sighs> is named... Percy Hobart. Sir, Sir Major General Sir Percy Stanley Clackhorn Hobart. Esquire. So is it rank then knighthood? Rank then knighthood, yeah, because like okay. knighthood is like part of your name, I think. He came mm. out of retirement for this, correct? Like rank changes. So... Mm. Uh, right after he fought in World War One, got a military <coughs> cross, came out of World War One, went to college, and then he's like volunteered to be in the tank corps, and nobody else wanted that job because it was they were like, oh, tanks are just for going from one trench to the other. We're not going to do anything else with them ever again. And the military is mostly ran by uh like cavalry guys. That was when horses were right, huge in World right. War One. Right. So they like didn't believe in tanks, and then um, so yeah, he like developed all these fucking tactics. Nobody wanted to listen to him. Uh, so they hated him, and then he ended up banging some other officer's wife. They divorced. He married her, so now they all really hate him. What a Chad. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> Miriam, I would like to stuff you while your husband's away on training. What say you? <laughs> hey, your husband's yes. on a horse. I got a tank. But we can run it. I don't care. <laughs> and we blast that pussy. Have yeah. you seen <laughs> the size of his horse's cock? <laughs> Have you seen the barrel? <laughs> Step into 2024 with confidence. Thanks to Manscaped, we're revolution through Nick. As the new year approaches, why not make your self-appearance a breeze by keeping your body well-groomed? Introducing the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Plus Premium Ultra. Razors, beard cream, brushes, cowboy hats, ultra. The ultimate inclusive kit to help you feel clean cut and confidence as you should.
featuring the powerhouse lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This next gen trimmer ensures precision and ease when tackling your toughest hairs. So kick off 2024 with the trim above the rest and use code unsub at manscaped.com and save yourself 20% off and free shipping. What are some of your resolutions this year? <laughs> Minus to trim the twig and berries because the tree looks bigger when shrubs aren't around. What about you, Cody? What are you gonna do? I'm shaving my pubes. Audience, do you know what I love about Manscaped stuff? It's waterproof. Manscaped also threw in two free gifts for you. The Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Now, resolutions may come and go, but a well-groomed you is here to stay thanks to Manscaped's latest and greatest. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code UNSA. Happy New Year's to your balls. Anyways, I can't sit on that. <laughs> Anyways, no, yeah, he, he got forced into retirement and then uh, the Germans fucked up France in like six weeks, beat the shit out of the British using his tactic that he developed that they told him wasn't going to work and then Churchill himself pulled him out of retirement. So the Blitzkrieg, back. he actually had that before it was, they started using that tactic. He was like, hey, this yeah, is no, what he, you need he, to do, he and they didn't listen. He developed it and then convinced the Brit British military to let him do like a humongous training exercise, and all the umpires were officers, so they made it be like, no, that didn't work. No, that's wrong. That didn't work. So like shot down his Blitzkrieg, and then So all the officers literally, are basically like, yeah, you just don't, you don't want to be fast and violent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Those you two gotta, things are really, be, really terrible. Gentlemanly. Terrible. Yeah. Would you yeah. agree? Slow. Would you compare it to the more recent wargaming kind of strategy where it was a Marine general and he had to act like an insurgency to take on all the American forces? That's and overblown. He, I looked into it. Did, was Is it yeah. really? It's overblown. Because I, really? I was yeah. told that the first time he did phenomenal and the second time they wargamed it so that he was just... He tied his hands behind yeah, his back. so I looked into it because that's exactly so, so what's like, the what's the original story for those who don't know? Yeah, uh, so the original yeah. story is that they they brought this marine general out of retirement to like do be the bad guy lead forces for a war game and like apparently he won and then they like called the whole thing off as a fluke and canned it and then this guy like wrote a scathing letter it was like this big dramatic piece so I was gonna do a video on it and actually. Actually looking into it, it didn't take long to kind of realize that like no, a lot of that shit that guy did didn't make any sense. Oh, okay. It was cool. like it was like, well, you're you're not gonna cut you you can't intercept my communications because I'm not gonna use any electronic devices. I'm gonna send a letter carrier on a motorcycle. Yeah. But also that letter carrier is gonna get there in three fucking seconds. Oh. Uh, so like he was like saying like I'm not using technology, but he was treating it like it was technology. So they're mm -hmm. like, no, that's that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like you don't get to claim that you're doing the math for targeting data in in enough time to intercept a fucking missile traveling. Like, no, 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 wait. Love, <laughs> while they're driving, they're doing hand and arm signals with the flag. Yeah. So it's <laughs> simultaneous. That would be awesome at that. I, I love how <laughs> <laughs> Ryan just stimming. They're like, I don't know what's going on. They're like, on. their coordinates are 1375 by North Chocolate Milk. I want some Skittles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> air raid, sir. air raid. <laughs> Donald Trump has funny looking hair. Why orange man? I want Sir, more. the seventh the seventh tank division needs chicken nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> and a milkshake. <laughs> the flag man is not making eye contact with me. He never will. <laughs> I, I just love the fact that like I'm like i when you came to my house, uh yeah. like I, I have a whiteboard full of, you know, fucking just, you know, you know, schedule shit that I gotta work out, but like video ideas and things I have. I was talking about doing a video on that Pepsi Navy thing, and you're just like, ah. fake and gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Sick I of hearing about it. <laughs> yeah. Look like, into it. <laughs> Not that big what, of a deal. What was, what was the original story with the Pepsi uh, Navy? The Can I it? tell it? Because yeah, I, I, I never get to make the fucking video now, so uh, th that's that's really cool. Sorry. <laughs> we were, we're, I was going to do a video, and it is overblown. Like, you're, you're right. You're right. It, like, people don't really know the nuance, but basically, essentially, uh, the, the Soviet Union, once they, you know, were collapsing because they kind of did that because they're communist they communism doesn't work no Nick what loves I mean communism. it works against your will while you're hungry He's, oh, oh, it, you know. so they wanted coca-cola they, they just wanted fucking soda and so they uh, just like every restaurant in the country when they can't get coca-cola they talk to Pepsi and so uh, they actually made a deal with some of their old warships and things like that and they uh, ended up basically trading uh, warships like battleships and things like that for Diets or just for, for for soda, 
The Russians gave battleships away? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Well, they were trash them. Yeah, they were junk. Like, they were, they were scrap There was like full basically. military giveaways yeah. for well, wait, so soda. It, so for, for a technical period, uh, Pepsi had the seventh largest navy in the world. By like tonnage, yeah. Yeah. Which is fucking ridiculous. But it was also just fucking scrap old warships. Can you imagine the owner of PepsiCo just like looking outside of his window one day and be like... <laughs> 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 Who wanted to get seven fucking submarines? <laughs> it, it was like it was it was Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars. Like oh. I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just it's just this guy just coming sitting down. He's just like. We're never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are we gonna do with these it's things? It's Russian steel. You can point your finger through it. <laughs> okay, so the funny part about that, it wasn't Coke that they wanted. They wanted Pepsi because oh, fucking, I, I think it was Gorgachev came over to America and they were like giving him the tour of like, hey, here's how not being a communist looks. And he like thought before it was he all did Before he did Papa John's commercials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did Gorbachev do a Papa John's commercial? No, wait, Papa John wasn't around over then. Why are you feeding into my ego like this? It was, right? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You don't. No. Pizza, pizza, hut. pizza. There yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah, pizza Papa hut. John's. You, you know about that, right? Right? Yeah. He did. Gorbachev Gorb 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 did a, pe a pizza yes, hut commercial. That's what it was. Yeah. Big fucking liver you know, spot. You know, you know who else works? You know who else works? You know who else works with Pizza Hut? It's DMI, Rich. DMI works with Pizza Hut. What's DMI? Nothing. We can't get into it. Is it DEI? Is that the Dairy Dairy Management Incorporated? Oh, that's right. The cheese. I also talking about the cheese. I also found out they have a SWAT team. Where you get that cheese, Danny? The cave in Springfield, <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Um, so, yeah, no, he came over, and they're like, I don't know, he was trying different sodas, and I think, I don't remember exactly how it was, but, like, Pepsi came out, and they're like, here's our here's our cola. We made it with water from the USSR, and he's like, this is fucking delicious. And then he got the a The only thing Gorbachev was ever wrong about. <laughs> Yep. Water? <laughs> so he, uh. He's a joke. He's running Yeah, so like that's why Pepsi became <laughs> super popular. It's because they like literally just tricked him and no shit. getting that famous picture of him drinking You're shitting Pepsi. me. Pepsi. No. And oh then, my God. Yeah. So that was the whole deal. And then originally they were trading, uh, the USSR was trading vodka in exchange for Pepsi. And then Pepsi was selling the Soviet vodka. And they were, the, they had a licensing agreement. They were the only ones allowed to sell it in America. But then after the whole like fucking Cold War and human rights violations thing, it became yeah, less popular to drink shit. that. Little shit. So then they had to trade on battleships, you know. No it's a good time. That's fucking insane, just trading battleships, which I would I definitely mean, fuck it, take. why not? And like, thus began the Russian oligarchy's norm of do you want some military equipment for good shit that we could actually use? We will trade you ten soda pops. Hey, we've got this AK that's kind of a rifle, kind of long sniping, very, very quiet. It can't go through anything, but it sounds and looks neat. Nothing. You could be talking about three things right now. And I that's why it's funny. <laughs> a vote for Russian propaganda is a vote for Brendan Herrera. There, that's, there's actually conspiracy theorists. I'm dead fucking serious. There are left-wing fucking asshole conspiracy theorists saying that I'm a Russian plant right now, which is the funniest shit in the world. Like, never been to Russia, don't fucking... Like, I'm, I'm the... <laughs> Next to Nick, I'm one of the biggest people who just talk shit about communism all day long. It's like just like the opposite of my ideology. But they're now saying because I know, because obviously the AK sphere. It's like he's been seen around known Russian military operatives. He's a plant from Russia and Putin. Like I legitimately have people that comment on every fucking thing I do, calling me a Russian plant. It is weird. It's reading well, even reading some of your articles that they're like your attack articles. I'm like. What? This is not my homie at all. Yeah. I have no idea what they're talking about. But it's hilarious if it you is, know me. It is fucking like, crazy how much shit they just make up nothing. just for an article. I think I need to get an AK guy shirt. Um, and I a wig hate with, where this is going. With a, <laughs> and a wig where I can slick back my hair and like wear his glasses, and then I, I can, gave I you can a pair. I know. I still yeah. have them. Good. Yes, of course. Yeah, get a good tan better. going. My seven dollar no, Amazon I'll, shades. I'll just grab my my wifey's like. Oh no! That's yeah, down. yeah, that's that sounds like almost got me. You almost got me. I'll just grab my wife. No, no, no. I was like a tan, a tan, a tan, an olive-skinned person. You're training for a bodybuilding competition. Yes, yes. Just anyway, and then not racist if you have a six-pack. Directly. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the rule. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and then Nick coming out with black face with an abs. <laughs> that's still racist, You're not going to get me. Fucking King I don't Popo have abs. It's not going to work. If only Trudeau was fit. Not even going to try. <laughs> But just address all of like the obscure, random, like outlandish things. They're like, he's a Russian plan. I just sit there and be like, as the AK guy, I see no way that I'm connected with Russia. Rack an AK and just throw up a bunch of ruples in the air. <laughs> Lost with Dania, do a shot of fucking Stoli. What's funny is I wanted, I, I needed to like have a random video where I'm in front of the, We have a giant Russian, like Russian flag in our, uh, in, in the shop. A vote that for they Russia. Yeah, allegiance a vote to every day. Because we have, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, because we have every, every, every <laughs> country that the, uh, the AK has ever been made in. Mm -hmm. All like from like start to finish all the way, like from, you know, 1947 till Was now. that like 12 countries? It's an entire wall. I know. <laughs> it's a big. The <laughs> USSR. <laughs> the USSR. How many, how many of them are still around? <laughs> well, so oh, the thing about fair. Comblock <laughs> countries. <laughs> They tend to uh, break off into smaller ones. They have a ha. life cycle. Well, because it's like the jar thing with uh, Yugoslavia. Oh, I thought he was talking about like where the guy sits on it. And then no, the no. That's actually no. one Stop of my it. favorite yes. videos. Stop. Literally. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Rich, do you What's know that the video story? Called? Of? One guy, one jar? You. That's what happened. Wait, I don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? With Yugoslavia? Thank that's you, where he did that. Mr. Trump. Trump. That was in Yugoslavia? No, that's what started the entire Yugoslav uh, civil war. Oh, that broke that up. video? Yeah. Right? No, not the video, but yeah. it, I, I've told this on the podcast, I'm <laughs> sure, right? Know. I don't Start remember at the it. beginning, Brandon. I'm confused. So the reason why Yugoslavia broke off into five different fucking countries, like Slovenia, mm. fucking Macedonia, a bunch of other... Lithuania. Yeah. Mesopotamia. So they... Mesopotamia, <laughs> of course. There's a lot of Anias. <laughs> There's a lot of... A vote for Ania <laughs> is a vote for Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So he so put the drawer up his no, ass. Yes. They, so the, uh, there was a lot of like like uh, regional tension in the mm -hmm. area at that time, and <laughs> the lines. guy yep. the guy decided to I guess you know to be <laughs> you know him. He's like, to be I funny. To, I want to create peace. <laughs> He's like I'll just do funny internet videos. <laughs> sits on it. it. It wasn't a video. He was literally just fisting himself the fucking glass. It broke. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really like medical problem. If you've never had broken glass in your ass. So uh, I hear the guy it's a goes, big deal. yeah, and he 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 claims that I think a, like a Slovenian gang did it to him, like fisted him with a fucking glass. Claims that happened. That started the entire Yugoslav civil war that ended up killing a lot of people. Because he lied, he was embarrassed. Yes, that he, fucking he was embarrassed. He he, yes. he was afraid to say I fisted myself with a fucking mason jar, and which w that sound of that popping of the glass, I will never forget. There's one video on. You were there. Yeah. Nah, fuck it. I'll do that video. <laughs> 100%. Brandon was sitting there, was like, <gasps> Eli started the Yugoslav Civil yeah. War. I was like, these settings aren't right. Let's do it again. One yeah. more. Tism oh, took oh over. <laughs> All right, dude, take, he's just pulling the, sh <laughs> the shards. He's just like, oh, dude, if, if that video came out now, <laughs> the comments underneath it would be like, hilarious. That's ketchup, not real blood, Russian plant. Side note, the comments right now on a lot of videos. We were talking about Cody, sh um, uh, who just had, who, who, uh, fuck, uh, Burt Kreischer and who's the other guy? T Tom Segura. Tom Segura talking about those comments in the new YouTube algorithm, or not YouTube, IG. Have you seen them where it's like, yeah, you'll see yes. somebody pop up, and they're trying to be like body positivity or something, and, and you're you like, just know the why is that or... showing up in my feed? You click it, eight thousand comments, and yeah. you're like, oh, I know where well, this that, goes. That one, <laughs> that one roly poly woman with the coffee that they talk about, um, <laughs> she's Eight from France. <laughs> She's, by the way, go Bills. She's a Bills fan. Sorry that we lost again. Uh, again. Again. So she, I guess they said that she's like huge on TikTok and like TikTok is a very different space than she's Instagram because TikTok's like, everybody support one another. And you know, is that your dick? Oh, it's so nice. And then Instagram is kind of like the photography. Can you say that again Twitter. like slower? Yeah. <laughs> a vote for sucking dick oh. is a vote for Brandon. <laughs> this is the whole shirt. <laughs> Buffalo Police Officer I'm endorses not so every Republican comment under pitch. this video so, so is Buffalo, something. Buffalo PD endorses uh, congressional candidate Brandon Herrera, TD, uh, Texas District 23. I'm not going to lie. I think I could get our union to, to pull for that. That would actually be really funny just for me personally. I would yeah. love that. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up in a Let's union meeting. Let's make that happen. I would... Well, if you can do it soon, I'll put that on my wall forever. Mm -hmm. Cause see, just because it, it's it's yours. That's that's why it's just, it has a special uh, importance for me. It's kind of like uh, a replica Medal of Honor. Yeah, it does something, <laughs> but 
Does it? What does it mean? Not quite. Yet. <laughs> not quite yet. <laughs> Republicans love being supported by unions. <laughs> I mean, my, my best joke might have been like the Pepsi thing, but that was my beer. <laughs> You're proud of that. Was, <laughs> an endorsement from an out-of-state union is a lot like a replica medal of honor. It'll get you something in Applebee's. It's a good cult. But everybody else knows it's not the real thing. It's great when you go to Denny's. We love it. If I you, love if, Denny's. If the viewers don't know, you get a lot of free meals. There's an entire journey you can go on, which we're trying to take. Oh, we talked about that. We want to take. Yeah, I was the one who had the idea. Like, let, let's go from like seven a.m. to fucking like seven p.m. Just the entire twelve hours, just going from free meal to free meal. Oh, people map that out. Yeah, I'm oh, sure yeah. they do. Yeah, but you can meal prep because you just take it to go. <laughs> That's what I like the most. It's I just meal prepping. I don't think you can take it to go. I think you can sit down, you can order it, you can have a drink and then you can get it to go box, but I don't believe you can get them yeah, to exactly. go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you just, just you sit down for, you know, 20 minutes and then just I mean, we're just circling you your whole system, like two weeks gotcha. planned out. It's fucking a whole day. A vote for ripping off normal restaurants is a vote for Brendan Herrera. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love Rich. <laughs> it just pokes everyone. He's like, no, nope, this is good. I do these things. Can afford it. <laughs> I do things where like I'll I'll keep I'll do something and I'll do it a bunch and it'll be like funny at peaks and then it starts to get like lame and then I can yeah, do it you ever and then made. all of a sudden it just gets even better after that like down peak. It just does my, it. I hope that's what he thinks. Yeah, he you know you a, you will carry a, a joke YouTube channel. I'm right really there. hoping that my sex life wasn't a total lie. Uh, <laughs> Don't touch me. Oh god, that uh that uh, a vote for bad sex is a vote for Brandon. Will you please make hey. that skit that I sent you? Wait. I want you what? to make I that got video. It. I, I will it. give you the I best said, fucking mediocre wienering of your life, buddy. <laughs> I don't I know, that's my line. <laughs> I don't remember the company, but there's a company selling uh powdered caffeine now. And it comes with like a little spoon for yes. you to snort. Yeah, and they're like doing. Are they're doing. It's called blow. Yeah, they're doing. It's called blow. They're doing ads on Instagram. That's hilarious. It came across my shit, and it's I sent it to Rich, shit. and I was like, "Will it's you also please?" Also, extremely dangerous. Will you, That's horrible for you. Will you yeah. please make a video of somebody pulled over trying to explain to you that it's not cocaine? Because that'd be. The, it's I just can blow. Rich and, and it's really, caffeine. Really, is it, guy? <laughs> it's caffeine. That's Excuse that's me. your nose coffee. You need to do it. <laughs> wait, guy. Wait, hold on. Are you sure it's not guy? Is that wait? It's that called that bump. Little, it's called bump. That's what it's called. Yeah. Bump. That, bump. What that little wallet was that you got? You remember it had the fucking right over there? Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm like, don't pull on my spot. What are you talking about? You were already like, like I get, like, dude, you're, I see your people like, like, I get piss tested regularly because my last name is Hi. <laughs> like, no, we must do it. No, 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 no. <sighs> yeah, no, yeah. Um, Kind of. They have it in, like, literally the commercial was they had, like, this little clear glass bottle. What the fuck? And that it, shit and it kills says you. Bump. And then and they put it on their hand, and they're like, <laughs> and they're like, it's caffeine for kids. Are you fucking serious? For well, I didn't say that, but oh, I mean, well, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But was it, like, put it on here and snort? Yeah. They actually, like, showed that in the video. Like, you snort it, it's caffeine. It's, like, straight caffeine. And so, you got your, here you go. I love your fucking... It is. That doesn't. No, turn this shit up. Come on. Try to bump. bump on the hand. And then they show Ric, Ric Flair, Flair on cocaine. Instagram ad. on cocaine. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a trash product because like they take all these like like you know the WWE didn't allow them to use that from Ric Flair. So this is some yeah. weird Chinese company that's making some gimmicky bullshit for everybody to buy like so they fucking can wait f- fidget spinner spinners so they can wait for it to get super popular like Zen's did and then just put fentanyl in it so it kills all of us. Yeah, Chinese yeah. government. I see you. Oh, please go. <laughs> I like in your <laughs> own videos you will not do the accent. We talked about this. With the video about the Chinese guy, I was like, uh, "Did you want to do that?" Like, no, I was. Oh, I I'm a Japanese man. man. I'm a Japanese <laughs> man. Um, <laughs> Japanese is very good. Uh, and he comes <laughs> from down here. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. And then my Chinese accent is just uh, Mr. Kim from South Park. Hey, uh, you want a shitty beef? Okay. You want a shitty walk? Uh, you, shitty walk? Hey, you, you, you need a shitty brain? A shitty airplane right here? You want to take the caffeine bump? Very good for you. Make you. Very wide awake. What a shitty caffeine? Okay. Snort the shitty caffeine. Here, <laughs> call Bump. Here, you try some. Okay, uh. you try some. Oh, everyone happy now. You dead. Okay, <laughs> hey everyone. Welcome to China. Our product. A-OK. <laughs> My bump had to fat now. <laughs> have, have you ever heard of Fort Drum? Not the one in New York. The one in the Philippines? What? No. 
Mm -mm. I'm doing a video on it. Or I did it already. It's getting edited. It's fucking go on. Uh, America, right after the Spanish-American War, they took an island at the mouth of Manila Bay called El Frale Island. They cut it down to eight feet above the waterline, completely leveled it, built a giant giant concrete bunker with battleship guns on top. So it looks like a battleship, Mm. but it's just sitting in the mouth of this. You mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just sitting there. And uh, it's been there forever. And then in World War II, they were literally the last people to surrender when the Philippines fell to Japan because they couldn't, like, the Japanese kept trying to get them, but it was, the concrete was 36 feet thick and it was reinforced with steel. Oh, yes, they I know what you're them. talking about. They couldn't fucking touch them at it's, all. Because it's technically a ship, isn't it? No, it's an island. It's, they it's, call it's it the concrete, concrete battleship because yes. it looks like a yeah. battleship, though. So, so was that in your last video that you mentioned that or no? It's I think I told you. He's yesterday. just repeating old oh. content now. No. Lost no, his he edge. He told us he was just talking. Dude, but, this is crazy because it is America being as America as possible. So like the whole moral of the story was like you know don't fuck with America's boats. Well, mm-hmm. technically not a boat, but it's close enough because the Japanese you know they it's in the water and it has surre- guns. Yeah, exactly. So water the Japanese guns? were uh, in it in 1945 when we came back to the Philippines and they opened up on a PT boat with machine gun fire. Right. And that went up the chain of command, and they're like, oh, let's get it. So they tried to drop bombs on it. Obviously, it didn't work. Tried to shoot with naval guns. Obviously, it didn't work. And then the chain of command's like, fucking get the blueprints and give it to a platoon of combat engineers and see what they come up with. You fucking American combat engineers are like, I need, I, need a, I need a company of infantry. I need 4,000 4, gallons of gas and diesel, 600 pounds of TNT, and some white phosphorus grenades. And then they put... 4,000 gallons of shit in the air vents. Hiroshi, it smells a very strong like a gasoline now. Mm-hmm. So, so how, did they, how did they deploy the uh, the the gas in the vents? Did they, uh, like, they, did had they a, fucking they, land? They had a, no, they, they, had, they had two boats. They landed and the guys well, ran out. Actually, they built showers. <laughs> a vote for the Holocaust is a vote for Rich High. <laughs> I was like, well, it's a World War II joke. Nobody gets the showers? How do we gas them out? Well, there's been some people that were doing it. Well, so you guys are working on that in New York with your tunnels. I was figuring out how to work that in. Well, right? When the hell did... Jesus. Underground Jews are just popping up like groundhogs. Right? But they, they saw their shadow nine more years of inflation. <laughs> like people... <laughs> they scurried back down. <laughs> Don't look at me and tell me that Christianity is crazy when there's a word <laughs> rising out of the ground like crazy in Central Park. Did you hear the tweet, though? The one guy that, like, six months before this, there's a tweet That's from a guy, <laughs> and he's like, I swear to God, I hear Yemen under my house, and I'm on the beach. Yeah, you, you heard Yemen? Or whatever. Yiddish. Or, yeah. Yiddish. 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 Yeah, I heard Yiddish. So, like, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just doing the wailing wall in the basement. <laughs> These Houthis are getting out of hand. <laughs> but it's a dude on the basement floor. He's like, I swear to God, I hear Yiddish yeah, under me. Three months later, there's fucking Jews under my house, and I'm on the basement floor. What the fuck? Then his last tweet was like, y'all owe me apology. <laughs> Link the article. <laughs> fucking amazing There's tweet. a video fucking of uh, NYPD sergeant. Just stand, he's a total beautiful <laughs> Italian man. Just yoked. And he's, he's got his sergeant stripes on. His, all his patrol officers are around him. And like these, you know, uh, these Jewish cats are just like, what are we doing? About? Let us in here. He's like, hey, yo, no, we're getting everybody out of here. And we're filling it up tonight. You can't do oh, this con- without a climate. Shit? Yeah. yeah, they're like, you can't do this. It's just like, you can't be digging random things into the ground. We're filling it up. They're like, oh, when are you going to fill it up? Like, we're getting everybody out, and we're filling it up tonight. And it was just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I love uh, Shane Gillis and uh, Theo Vaughn talked about that on their podcast. <clears throat> they're like, this is the most anti-Semitic thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they did it. They did it. <laughs> Like now you're gonna have like children growing up in New York City. Beware of the ground Jews over there. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat your candy, and otherwise the ground Jews are gonna get you, little Jimmy. <laughs> if you don't go to church on I Sunday would... or Easter Sunday, God forbid you miss it. The ground Jews are gonna come Whoa. up on the fourth and fifteenth, and, and they're gonna snag it. They're gonna drag it back down. They're gonna drag it down in the tunnels. <laughs> You remember Jonathan? Nobody <laughs> sees Jonathan anymore. You know why? Because he was a bad kid, never listened to his parents. And I bet you the ground Jews got him. I can't wait to see Wendigoon's new cryptid, uh, cryptid <laughs> tier list and the ground Jews are on it. <laughs> Can you can you imagine like NYPD special victims unit be like 
you know, Ice Cube comes out. He's like, they're saying that the ground juice came out of the ground. Just snatched his kid. No, that we haven't seen the ground juice ground. in 13 years. <laughs> All I can the picture shadow. is you getting sent into the tunnels as you use a, what's the, 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 the candle flashlight? The, no, the, the, not menorah, the candles. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, seven of them go out. Hold on, wait, 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 seven of them go out. I want you, I want you to hold this like it's a candle, all right? <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. There's somebody's gonna come up with the danglies and they're just gonna go. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like the conjuring. You. It's like Mazeltov. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Credits hit. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Bum, 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 bum. In New York City, there's a special group dedicated to special crimes. Bum, 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 bum. This, this group is called S S G U. Special ground shoot. Special ground shoot unit. You know, just S C I S. All right, so before I guess, my, that, the, I guess that this ground wasn't kosher. <laughs> Before my credit score gets any lower, you want to continue a different conversation? Okay. So Kanye West. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, he was a Jew. Who, and a ground Jew. He rose again. Rising again is a vote for Ray. Yeah. I just can't wait for like to me to be on the stand and them to pull up this podcast. Because they, they pulled up a Black Rifle podcast. Really? Yeah. No shit. Um, oh, what was it? I was talking about... Um, was that the uh, ranch house? No, no, it was a different one. Uh, but they, they... Oh, I was on the stand, and they pulled up something. I was, I was talking about uh, pulling somebody over. No, I think it was it was this podcast. It was it was this one. It was Sorry. unsubscribed. <laughs> I pulled over uh, a car, and they, it took a while for them to pull over. Hmm? Oh, never go. Continue. And, you know, I'm looking at the rookie next to me. I'm like, yo... Get ready to run, because if, they, if they, they're taking three blocks to pull over, we're only going 30 miles an hour. They're ditching something or hiding something, you know, get on alert. And he's like, okay, okay. I'm like, you, when I stop this car, you get out right away, just in case they try to run. He's like, okay. So we get out. It's chill. They're young. They got no license. I'm like, all right, we'll get you out of the car. I'm going to tow the car, because you're suspended. You got no license, you know, easy peasy. And then there's two guns in the car. Uh, so, not yeah. so simple. Womp, womp. <laughs> so, <coughs> did you just fucking say womp womp? Womp womp. Uh, was that like a slang against Italians? I don't know. No, it's different. No, no, have you, have you seen that that interview? It's like it's like Fox or something like that, and the guy's just like talking about like, oh, you, you, these these uh, you know immigrants are separate separated from their families. And the guy just goes womp womp, <laughs> and the guy just like loses his shit. Did you just say womp womp? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck. So yeah. Anyway, so they they bring up on the stand. They're like, uh, isn't that a pre-contextualized stop? I go. What? And for those of you who don't know what a pre-contextualized stop is, that means I look at a car and instead of stopping it for its, you know, having a tail light out or something, I like see Brandon and I go, I bet you that looking Mexican doesn't have a license, you know, or some other thing. It's or true. Insurance. <laughs> but you don't have a license? <laughs> or insurance. Or insurance or, you know. A vote for driving without a license. I guarantee you a vote for, for Brandon Herrera. Herrera. I guarantee you I've got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Unregistered because he's an American. And we should never mind. There's nothing funnier than your car breaking down with guns in the backseat. You not being oh able to leave God. your car. You, oh, <laughs> I just oh, remember you were, yeah, telling the story. Yeah, I, was, I was on my way back from Drive Tanks in Uvalde. Uh, mm -hmm. On my way back to San Antonio. Uvalde. That sounds familiar. Go on. <laughs> so my district, Rich, shut up. <laughs> we were on we our way. <laughs> Don't laugh about it. We were <laughs> on our way back. That <laughs> sounds familiar. We were on our way back, and I... I oh, my, some Australian made a video about it. Oh yeah, some Australians fucking that I'd asshole. love to fucking fight. So I was uh, fight him. It my fucking uh, Raptor uh, motor blew, like my motor straight up fucking just no good. Mm. Pulled over on the side of the road. I have a fucking M uh, M two O three on the bottom of full auto M sixteen. Cannot fucking leave the vehicle or the, otherwise. I, I'm either fucking strapping it over my shoulder and like trying to hitchhike. I mean, Texas is an open carry state. It is. Yeah, it's constitutional. Uh, mm -hmm. Constitutional carry now. Mm -hmm. Of America, a vote for constitutional carry. Is a vote for Brenton Herrera. That's actually true. That's the first one uh, so far. I think that was that was actually correct. I didn't think that he. Okay, I yeah. really thought that the ground you oh, one was going to be one. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> now your campaign manager can quit cool. chain smoking and having a panic attack. You fixed he, it. Good he job. He was just like, huh? huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> one of the things that I like. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but no, I, I was I was literally having to chill and watching like Narcos on Netflix on my phone, like as I'm just sitting there, just like drinking water, trying not to die at a hundred degree temperature. As I have a grenade launcher, three machine guns, whatever in the back of my fucking car, and very, very much fun. in the middle. That's of That's not nowhere. the beginning to a good no no. I don't know no what it is. Fucking nowhere. I heard you some still. hot officer just like pulls up. You need some engine help, sir. I do. Do you have any registered weapons in this car? I do. Let me machine check your gun, something else, sir. Before we continue this conversation, I think we need to put me in handcuffs. I'm gonna patch you down for weapons. <laughs> That Officer High. <laughs> a vote for police court is a vote for Brandon Dick Hyde. Agree. Dick Hyde is a great point. <laughs> yeah. Dick Hyde. Dick Hyde. Yeah, Dick, Dick Hyde is to a be very fair, that's strong. That's the best porn, porn name. Unless possible. there's a lot of people in Buffalo, New, in Buffalo, New York, they're like, he missed his calling. You know, he's. They, I mean, because they don't want me to be a cop, not because I'd be good at porn. Or because of what you did as a cop. Allegedly. <laughs> They Not never found haven't, the bodies. You haven't been in much of news lately. Well, because I'm a detective. Congratulations Actually, on stepping we, up. I had a, I got a, a good pat on the back the other day because I can't talk about it because it's still an ongoing investigation. But it was, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I mean, in a good way. Like, I'm, I was what? the investi- I was the detective oh, oh, investigating. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, it's not so, about him, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, Brand's like, you're, Jesus, fuck. You're a detective. Again? You talk about an investigation. <laughs> we automatically assume it's against you. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> a two Oh, there is guy. the AG's office. I forgot about that. <laughs> Letitia James is a lo- lady. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, but yeah, I know there was an incident where it was a, a big pain in the ass, and I had to stay. Uh, I had to stay late. I don't think I got out until four in the morning, and uh, I was very, very tired. And it started at like eight p.m., so it just took forever for us to get everything and do all the stuff and find all the things. And it was a lot of good patrol officers' work. But it, like I was, I don't want to say I was heading it. That sounds a little big-headed, but I was a major point in assisting everybody and and doing stuff. And we had to get it done right. It was a pain in the ass. To 4 a.m. So, yeah. Hmm? Well, at least you're crushing it. Hey, crime doesn't stop. A vote for crime, not stopping. Is it vote for Brandon Herrera? No. <laughs> <laughs> a vote for stopping crime. Is it vote for Brandon Herrera? There you go. Closer. Yeah. Brandon, what <laughs> videos are you working on next? That horse till it's glue on top. <laughs> Well, we, we talked about it last night the uh, um, the gyrojet video. That, okay. That's one I'm really excited for. Is that the uh, the one where the bullet has the propellant in it and it goes? Yeah, shoot. yeah, it's like Fucking a rocket, rocket pistol, rocket. little yeah. rocket. So I, I had to add the zoom to it so then they would know how much I knew about it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's what the rocket sound sounds like. like. Rockets make. <laughs> it was funny because it's NASA rocket. Because it's high speed, we're gonna have to do our own fucking sound design for that. We're probably gonna have to add like fake rocket noise. Oh, 100 percent. It's all gonna be <laughs> over the top sound design. Yeah. Feel free to use. Because people don't, I, I will actually use that exact <laughs> sign. It's just taking out, it's just your voice in slow motion. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. That's Rich High actually doing the voice. What's funny is if thing. you slow it down enough, people probably couldn't tell. Mm. Make a really good sound. But what is the other one? You have that one, and then I've got the Liberator one that uh, we yeah. talked again last night. Dropped in France. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That it shot like what? It's six rounds or just the one? One. It's a single. And it was, but it, it held was extremely. Six. It held three, three, three or so. It, it rattled yeah, it three. Held some in the yeah. the loudest yeah, gun ever. Out in a single load. Mm-hmm. It was pretty much just to pop <laughs> Germans and take their gun. Yeah, yep. like yeah. assassination yeah. weapon. Yeah. I'm told yep. that loading it was so difficult. You were better off just popping and then ditching it immediately because loading it was so difficult. Real put it this way. <laughs> it's a single shot gun, so you're popping and fucking ditching it anyway. You're yeah. better throwing hands. You're literally sliding a metal slide at the bottom. I mean, it looks like a pair of brass knuckles, honestly. Doesn't it have like the ridge in front of the knuckles? Uh, one uh, it's it's yeah, just the trigger guard. Like oh. it, it's so it was done by uh, the the gas lamp division of uh, GM. So General Motors fucking just stamped this shit out for three bucks. So you're saying that days. General Motors gas lit. The Second World War. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. That Dick one was you happy with that. That one was for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I have a legitimate question uh, with the rocket bullets. Still, just fucking recovering from that. But yeah, what's up? Uh, isn't it? How difficult is it to get the rocket bullets? Because they're like <laughs> they don't make them anymore. How do you, I, impossible. So, so then I, I have seventeen <laughs> rounds, and they're over one hundred and fifty bucks a piece. I was gonna ask that, yeah. and I thought they were more than that. I think did it come with the seventeen rounds? Or it did came you? with the seventeen rounds. Like See, if, if you can find them for the cheapest, it's it's like a buck seventy five. Yeah, I thought like 
I thought they were extremely expensive. And yeah. 175 for a single bullet is a lot of money. Yeah, like but 50 think, 50 cal is like 4 bucks around. I still I still that think now. that's cheap uh, for well, rocket bullets. For, for, yeah. for, uh, for uh, 50 cal? Mm-hmm. No, it's 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 about that unless you're getting like really expensive shit. Yeah, 338 like, Lapua is like still, 10 bucks. That's a, the expensive boys right now. 338 is more than 50 cal, right? Eight to yeah, it is. Yeah, usually, yeah. And yeah. then you go for this rocket round, which is a hundred and something dollars per bullet. Because they don't make li- them anymore. It's yeah. literally cheaper to buy twenty mil. It's a really cool design, though. It's. Have you watched it at all? Or are you? At, you Somebody else them? made a video on it. Um, was it no? Because it was Demo? it was in depth and is <laughs> great. Is like depth, Matt's great at stuff. I'm not saying Matt's bad. This one was like an in depth look at the bullet. How was it? Uh, how it Tal Flader Mouse, I think. I know. I think it was somebody else. Honestly, I think it really? was like something like legitimate, like a like a Discovery Channel. Somebody legitimate busters. Yeah, not like some chump like us that just like buys a camera on eBay and then goes, you know what? I'm just gonna figure it out on my own. <laughs> no, it was just like somebody that like. <laughs> Do they have to talk like Kermit the Frog? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Miss Piggy, <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot the round. It's one hundred twenty-five dollars. I'm, I'm going to Kermit. <laughs> oh, I got a shirt that says "Permitting War Crimes." <laughs> no shit. Holy yeah. shit, that's such a good fucking shirt. I have a shirt, and it's Kermit. With, with like, looks like a Vietnam guy, and it says "Permitting War Crimes." I, I just love like oh. our, our fucking editor is sitting here in the corner, just like G Van. Like, the, the, he's Jesus. doing the Ben Affleck like, like, post-it notes, <laughs> writing oh, down timestamps. <laughs> That's got to go. Lawyers we laughing, though. That's that a good up. sign. As long as the lawyer's laughing. That's a nervous we're, laugh. We're good. <laughs> that's a nervous <laughs> laugh. <laughs> He's wearing a campaign shirt of mine. <laughs> what's, what's it say? Vote Sorry. for Pedro. <laughs> but Yeah, close. Yep, vote cool. for Pedro. Yep. I love you're brown enough to be able to do that shirt and just make it. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> brown enough. <laughs> I mean, Herrera. A vote for brown enough <laughs> is a vote for brown enough. Oh, a vote for Herrera is brown enough. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't brown enough if you don't vote for Brandon Herrera. Uh, that, that's Joe, Joe Biden. Like, oh, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah. It's like, that's a fucking excuse me. <laughs> I voted for Brandon. <laughs> Christ. Nick, okay, so for the, uh, I want to s- circle back to your Blitzkrieg thing because I still don't know any of that shit. <laughs> like, what? period. The Blitzkrieg yeah, and him it? developing it, yeah. and then the actual Germans using it. Did Germans study his tech, or did yeah? They so learn like uh, Heinz Guderian, the guy that was like the architect of the German yeah. Blitzkrieg, it was like well known because he had Hobart had been doing tank stuff for twenty five years at this point, twenty years, and he had published papers about tactics and everything, and. Um, Heinz Guderian had all of his papers translated into German and like had them with him everywhere he went like on mission like it was part of his like documents that he kept on him whenever he needed them so like yeah no they straight up just jacked hobart's homework and then so you, he literally just writes like hey this is how we do it because yeah. if you don't know the blitzkrieg was highly and, effective yeah and super effective entire world you want to know who's super mad at that video all the fucking weird people that like jerk off to the german military from world war ii they're really uh, the, upset the the, I, the weirabus yeah yeah Jesus <laughs> Wait, Christ, what's a weirabus? it's it's when it's when, <laughs> yeah, it's when, that, it's when a high like, school kid was like this close to being a school shooter but just edged it out and he decided i'm just gonna simp over the german military in world war ii because i'm a fucking moron that's that's what those are. We're a boost. To be Christ. fair, they were really good at a lot of shit. Not they're winning. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. More like picking <laughs> friends. I, I, the Italians. I, 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 I love the the one guy who was just like, yeah, you know, I, I I'm from Germany, yeah, uh, but uh, I, yeah, our military decided to uh, take a, a war to the rest of the world, Twice. declare war on the rest of the world, and if it's close. That's like close. To be it fair, wasn't. yeah. Like, listen, we're not all doing meth in our Panzers, so yeah, we weren't. We were a little caught off guard. Uh, uh, do, how dare you talk shit on the Panzer Chocolata? Yeah, it was like Panzer something, I Panzer Faust yeah. or something. Panzer like that. chocolate, yeah. Panzer Faust. And they I did. still have actually some of that stuff. Uh, I, you I still have some Panzer chocolate. Yeah, the, the, literally, Verstelaika, the the Finnish company, actually sells the uh, the the. the uh, caffeine chocolate that they would give to pilots and shit like that. It's the same. Still? I think it's the same company. Yeah, they're very proud of their heritage. It's like it's each <laughs> each one of the little bricks. It's like at twelve bricks per little tin. I mean, that's each how one of them is like a cup of coffee. Oh, it's like one hundred and twenty grams or sixty. Grams, I, I have no. I, I don't remember, but I've I've got actually I've got a shitload of them back of the house. If you want some, fuck I'll, yeah, I'll give I you do. Some. Fucking caffeine. my buddy has fucking keyed up for a podcast. A um, letter signed by Mussolini. No shit. Framed in his house. 
I mean, like not like a sense of pride, like I really like this guy, but like, hey, <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's a total goomba, and I why love not? Him. What happened? Uh, well, you know, uh, you know fascism uh, does not work so well in Italy because uh, you get uh, hung upside down and gutted, and uh, that's they how had, it ended for them. They had one of the best buildings in all of American or in all of God damn it, American history and all of world history. It's basically as ours. As, we just gave it back. You're welcome, Europe. As far as like, like, what is fascism like? They're they're fucking uh, Capitol building or whatever that was. Uh, have With you his seen face that? on it? Yeah, he literally his fucking. It's a giant fucking face that looks like Big Brother is watching. Mm -hmm. It was. I like, haven't seen that. Jamie, pull that shit up. G van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that Jamie? It's I Jamie can't believe now. they got you from Rogan. <laughs> we got so lucky. Thank you, Jamie. No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> It w we would have to go through another hiring process. It would be really, really uncomfortable. But it would yeah, be cool. Thank you. Speaking of people, what the fuck? What? To Jesus Christ! Hey man, <laughs> badass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote from "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia." Oh, no, you should. I'll go for "Always brand. Sunny in Philadelphia." Is it over Brandon Herrera? <laughs> Medal of Honor recipient. I also like watching all the people get mad. Because they simp over Soviet bullshit and then watch all the Soviet equipment that they've been talking up for the last 50 years just get shit wrecked. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. The only thing the so Soviets were ever good at designing was small arms. They, like, wh whether it came to fucking, uh, like, vehicles, you know, uh, armored, armored vehicles, airplanes, any fucking anything. They always kind of sucked at it. Small That's, arms, they actually had some good stuff. The Soviets were, are the T-Rexes of was, the dinosaurs because they've got... Small arms. And that's about it. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, I was in class. You are a dad, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I fucking hated that um, joke. <laughs> I'm the uh, dude, I do, do, like I said, some of them are just for throat. me. <laughs> 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 I mean, America designed their tanks anyway, so. What? Which one? Uh, the fucking, what, whatever the fuck one they had in World War II, the T-34. Uh, T-34? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the T-34 is fucking trash. It's cool. It's cool for like history reasons, but it's fucking trash. The T seventy is trash. T seventy two is trash. Where the where, uh, where did the blitz blitzcrank almost just had a blitzcrank? <laughs> yeah, it's a legal Lee, that's a creature. Creature. Lee, yeah, yeah, it's a legal video. video. <laughs> oh, oh God! Do you want to see my blitzcrank? <laughs> I'm coming over your French border with my blitzcrank. But it was England, yeah. right? Where it really just like punched through France. France, yeah. They never there punched England's in an England. There's, yeah, there's. It's hard to it's drive. It's an island there. the size of Michigan, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I literally just got interrupted on the podcast by my own just, campaign email. He he's, feels he's it right now. He's unfazed by bodies of water. He'll get where he wants. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, what, what, what videos do you have coming up next? Or are we just waiting for the government to fuck up more? Oh, I think my YouTube's going to be canceled and then soon. Really? Not a, not a I have anything to say about it, this but comes but out. <laughs> Did I call you a what? I don't know. A butt first. <laughs> <laughs> When did I call you? I don't know. Oh, remember that? On. Everything on. is like it could have happened. You say, you say the words just in case I can't. A vote for is a vote for Brandon Herrera. No! <laughs> Here's your political act. I, lo I love how we have a habit of like milking slurs out of our guests. I feel that's, that's the unsub is that podcast. A slur? I think it's just like, a, like I mean, it's not really oh, yeah. a slur. It's a cleaner. Uh, yeah, it is. Is it really that negative? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, that's a bad yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. That's like, that is. You don't want to call the, the, the Mexican that, folk. I'm here to learn and listen, and he's just explaining it for you. What's up? That's our intro. Yeah. Oh, God, fuck you. <laughs> It's not that bad. <laughs> I like honestly, I don't hear it ever. Like it's just you're just like oh. you're in Buffalo. Yeah. Well, There's yeah, we've got Puerto Ricans. There. We don't have Mexicans. You have more snow Mexicans than Mexicans. What's a snow Mexican? Canadians. Canadians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, that's yeah. very true. Yeah. They have a. They are obnoxious. I'll tell you what. They're <laughs> supposed to be the most polite people ever. They come down for football games and like hockey games, a and they are. They are some fucking drunken assholes, man, and they can't drive. It's going to be really expensive to build that wall. <laughs> but I, I'm not saying I we mean, shouldn't do it. Eh, but. They, they don't really <laughs> let us in, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, 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 had, I had a buddy. Like, like, we won't let you in. I was like, to Toronto? <laughs> Keep going. I got a peepee. -pee. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I, I really just, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life if I can't go to Vancouver. Well, I had a buddy that had a fight in uh, in Canada, and like eight dudes were in a van driving up there. One of them had a DUI, and they're like, that motherfucker can't come in. They oh, yeah. Had, they they had to drive back, seriously. Leave, leave him at a hotel room over the weekend, no and shit. go there themselves without him. You could yeah, not. Yeah, you can't get in, period. They what won't let the you. Fuck. 
And they have a zero tolerance. If you have any alcohol in your system and you get pulled over, you'll get a DUI. Meanwhile, we have like four times over like murderers getting stopped at the border. We're just like, oh, well, we'll deport you back. They'll deal with it. Oh, okay. do you want to talk about crime, Congressman? Because I can talk about crime, Congressman. I would love to talk to you about crime. Let's do some crime. Okay. We're let's in Vegas. Do let's, some let's, let's do some crime. Yeah. Let's do some crime. The world is our oyster, Rich. I feel like... I think it's appropriate that we talk about crime with Trump Tower in the background. <laughs> well, apparently he's... Uh, well, I mean, New York, you know. New York, New York. A place so nice, it's riddled crime. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for New York. No, a vote for not New York is a vote for Brandon Herrera. That one's true, too. Oh, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> that's not bad. Texas. Make Texas, Texas again. Man. Have you guys seen the uh, the British zombie knives news shit? Yeah. I did a, so fucking funny. I did a live stream on it. It's so funny. Dude, it was the, my best joke that came out of it wasn't even mine. Uh, somebody put it in the oh, comments. The lawnmower thing. And it is... <laughs> Is, isn't a lawnmower just an automatic knife? A fully, auto, a fully automatic machete? And I'm like, oh my God, how are these people mowing their lawns in it's, England when they've got a fully automatic knife just sitting in the garage? It's not wrong. Just Christ the mindset. Alive. Yeah, the, I I look at the, the, the zombie knife bullshit going on in the UK right now, and I think, like, this is what other countries think of when they hear about our fucking arm brace bullshit. So it's such a weird fucking loophole. Another part of that story is there's this guy, he's on the news as news anchor, and there's an elderly gentleman that's also a news anchor across from him because they're doing this interview as news anchors. And the guy pulls out a massive <laughs> knife. It's just, it's, yeah. it's probably like a 16 inch knife, right? He's like, what do you think when you see this? He's like, oh, and the old guy's like, oh, I'm a fright from a life, you know? And the guy's like, yes, you are. I'm like, so you just fucking threatened him with a knife and created a felony on camera. Even, even better than that, you just said, yes, you are. Like, you're confirming right? it. Like, right? And he goes, no, you can get this knife. You know, like, I don't know he's Australian. I was like, well, you can get this knife. And <laughs> made that's the really, knife. really light all of a sudden. That's uh, not a knife. This you, is a knife. You can get this knife. Uh, so you, he's like, you can get this on Amazon. But it, you can only get it if it doesn't have any zombie lettering on it. And I was like, so wait a second. If I scrub off. The, the name zombie. Have I deserialized the knife and now that, made it a felonious knife? That's, Have I, that's a ghost knife. It's a ghost knife. How that, are we going to track these knives? That's their rule. It can't be manufactured with any lettering on it. Like, because you know those like shitty gas station knives are like zombie murder or eight thousand. Yeah, it can't say any $5. words. It could be that knife, but it, as long as it doesn't have the word on it, it's completely legal to them. Mm -hmm. That's like their loophole. So they just buy a large knife that has no anything on it. Imagine conquering most of the known world, and now you're not allowed to open a fucking Amazon package <laughs> in your own house. Right. <laughs> the fuck? That's, I, that's my favorite thing. When we, like, I do any sort of range video, people from the UK, like, oh, I just don't understand why, like, at least our schools ain't a fucking shooting gallery. <laughs> like, <'cause>, like, <laughs> our schools ain't a shooting gallery. They do that fucking bullshit, and it's like, bro, you have a fucking butter knife epidemic. Chill out. Yeah. <laughs> You got three guys that scream Allahu Akbar on the street and then 30 people get stabbed. How do we defend ourselves? All of those videos I see are always from the fucking UK where it's like somebody just sitting there just going to town just like stabbing the shit out of somebody and like there's like Hitting 18 one people around like, Hey, hey, hey stop, stop it. Stop. Hey, tea and crumpets. Hey, maybe you should stop stabbing that old woman over there. And the cops show up and they're like, Oi, hey, stop or I'll yell stop again. <laughs> I've got a taser. <laughs> Fuck the UK. Do they have any <laughs> firearms? Period. There. Uh, <laughs> in, in yeah, some of course, of the, the Irish uh, like that. Like, <laughs> it has to be registered. You have to have a reason, and it's always like fucking like break action, like single fire like type shotguns. Shit. It's yeah. old, old, old stuff. Like Twenty twos um, yeah. are real popular over there. Well, what's, what really, what's really the funny though? What's mm, funny about their their gun laws is that like suppressors are considered you know courtesy. Require, yeah, yeah. Like they're they're not they're not only not regulated they're like encouraged suppressor laws are truly so a gentleman stupid. would own a suppressor of course but J of course Japan. a fine Chinese mule a oh, succulent <laughs> Chinese mule ah, you know your judo well sir quit touching <laughs> my <laughs> penis Let this man grab me on the penis <laughs> 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 I love that fucking seconds? video. It's the best. Uh, it's like twelve dollars. No sakis oh, is from the fridge. Never mind. I don't sakis. Twelve dollars. We were downstairs. It was like downstairs. That's like, that's like, like six dollars per ekase. Oh, I know. Well, that's like a bud. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you just sounded like a wake up on the nineties. Like, oh, that, that gives me the ekase. Six dollars per ekase. <laughs> 
It's well, on Unsub. You're, you're good. Oh, yeah. Who else needs an expensive beer? Oh, I'm yeah. just drinking tequila. <laughs> Twelve dollar Dos Equis. What was like downstairs? How much was a Bud? It was, it was ten dollars for a fucking Coors Light Tall Boy downstairs. Dude, every time I buy, I buy like two drinks at Circle Bar, and it's like a hundred bucks. Yeah, after yeah. tipping, it's insane. It's fucking retarded. That's what people last night they're trying to. They're offering to buy drinks. I'm like, I got it. I, I, yeah, no, I'm I don't, good. I don't yeah. want you to be poor you. after buying me one. There are thirty dollars per drink at the Circle Bar. I right? went to the Atomic Museum yesterday. Oh, that was cool. Is that the Atomic Museum super here? Cool. Huh? Is it yeah. here? Yeah. 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 It's like six minutes away. I hear it'll blow your mind. Hi no, they have that. They have, uh, did you? The, they have the mob what? museum. Stop holding the position. <laughs> <laughs> what all could you buy there? It was like the tritium or any of that for uh, sellers? Like, I didn't no, really look at the good. gift shop. I was mostly just looking at all the little shit. It was kind of cool because, like, I don't know. All the little side exhibits were the coolest part to me because I it like tied in all the history. What the fuck is wrong with you? There's you? a joke about wanting to buy adamantium. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, bud? No. Why were you uh, thinking Wolverine? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to think of a joke steel. to go with Adams. And I was just like, Adamantium. And, I was, and then my brain was just like, you're stupid. And then I, <laughs> and then I laughed at myself, calling myself stupid. No, I, tried, anyway. I tried to record it. They wouldn't let me record in there. That sucked. What, is it a big no-no? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I guess. They like specifically are like, no recording, period. But I took a bunch of pictures. It was good shit. How far is Trinity site from here? Well, I don't know. A good but bet. I guess yeah, a I think hours. we I think I was drunk and I did this yesterday on a podcast. Guess what percent of Nevada is federal property? It's actually we terrifying. That, I want to yeah. say like 85. 80.1. 80, 80. Oh. That was the, I think my the exact guess yeah. I made. That's weird. 80% of <laughs> Nevada federal federal Bomb property. Yeah, Can you imagine like aliens and nuclear 45% bombs. of a state that's bigger than all the UK? Um, <laughs> that you could just do whatever you want in, like, hey, no fly zone, fly over this area. We, we, Properly we're just like off. flexing on Europe. We're just like, hey, uh, by the way, the, the size of your country, we just decided nobody owns yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's for making glass and not going there. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's called, de, de, uh, it's called protecting NATO. Yeah. You're fucking welcome. Random thing, kind of building this all together. So, government land. I went to Camp Shelby, Mississippi one time. It's in Mississippi. Mississippi. It's yeah. horrible. Really? Wow. And they used to what? ship. Nazi POWs from Germany to the States and put them at Camp Shelby yeah. and have them do like work parties and shit like that. Yeah. Yep. So from What's the sky a work party. A work party? Yeah. A work party. You just you do work. I like that you attach party to that. Yeah, well, it's not a it party. A group of people that do <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not getting pepperoni this pizza. Is a work party. <laughs> voluntold. <laughs> yeah. Voluntold. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's the work party of the shower party. party. Like there, was a, there was a German POW camp in the town I grew up in. In but, Iowa. And that's how you got here. Thanks, Grandpa. Nope. And kind of funny, my, my, my but, great uncle whatever. actually got uh, got sent out as a POW because he was captured in uh, El Alamein. Uh, f- again, fighting under Rommel. So he got sent out to Texas. And so it's kind of funny how, like, different areas but he of went my ba- family he went got... back, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. He didn't He didn't end up living there. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny how all that shit works out. Well, still in Camp Shelby, Mississippi, there is a large mound that's about, I want to say about a football field long. And it is a swastika. It's about five feet high by about ten feet wide. Like each branch of the so swastika. So the jokes that you're not about to make. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that hesitation on the beer. It's like, and I know there was like three things you were gonna say. You and just I know didn't. what you're thinking. Of all the states to have a swastika that big, Mississippi. What? I expect that too. <laughs> no, like being an electrician. You run into a swastika once in a while. That's why there's so many S's in Mississippi. <laughs> I like it's normal font, but the SS oh are God. different yeah. font. You thought the SS like, was bad. Oh, well, hell. It's got the German Get ready for the Man, I'm making my attack ads so fucking easy. So easy. Jesus Christ. There's a factory in the town that I live in, in Iowa, and in one of the fucking... Mechanical rooms, super old factory. There's like old valves and shit that have swastikas on them. Just no shit. They, they've just been in use for that fucking long. It was yeah. way before World War II happened. Mm. Bought and installed in like the 1930s. German industry, impeccable. The swastika has many meanings. It's like Christianity. Not anymore. Well, I no. mean, depending on the angle. <laughs> nah, we're not going there. It was no. usually like it was Hindu. Right? There's Hindu, only one Christianity, angle. Christianity. Um, and then. Was it Christian? I- Christianity is um, era. Uh, 
when it's downturned on the left side when you're looking at if it's going so down like, that's christianity so if clockwise it's up is yeah yeah and then if it's angled nazi hindu is straight but uh same nazi symbol Th there is like eight different ones all with the exact same logo yeah hmm. talking about the hindu one it's curved on all the lines so yep uh mine's curved different. too christianity is just the exact yeah but do their trains too. run on time <laughs> <laughs> Jay Wolf, you need to just come and show how big you yeah, are on we'd camera. We'd love to have you. Yeah. This is come our on, fucking over. bodyguard. Scooch over. <laughs> this is my head of security. <laughs> yeah. Jay Wolf just is our homie. Fan Jay Wolf, what's your stream? Guys that over here what's your stream? Zoom out. <laughs> uh, just for, man, come just stand for, next to him for just a reference. Just for scale, I'm 250 and I'm 5'10. And this is, G -Man, this get is out my here. friend Jay Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Am I out of frame or? Fucking oh, Christ, dude. Stand on top of the bed, Jesus. I'm almost as <laughs> <laughs> Like, fucking ridiculous. The biggest. Sorry, sorry to the Spotify <laughs> listeners. Uh, that's a big white motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. He had to oh. duck under the light. Damn, fixture. you got bigger titties than my woman. I'm trying to bully that guy into starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> What's up? I'm trying to bully him into starting a YouTube channel. He'd be really good at it. Dude, the mountain, See, I, love, well, I, I love. I love like, true. What, what's the name we came up with? Size matters. Size, Size matters. matters. Yeah, bro. And if we did like him, a year and you just get, we just load you up on roids and just get you jacked bro, as fuck. We, <laughs> we need to get that him. That would be terrifying. Uh, He's like the fucking mountain. Yeah, yeah. I would we just need, watch you falling on things. <laughs> <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> <laughs> With slow mo, I would just watch you. Do you want him to fall on you? <laughs> yeah. Welcome well, to episode fourteen of the Gravity <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> like a the, little person, uh, hydraulic no, press gotta, channel, but yes. it's his feet <laughs> just stepping on stuff in slow motion. You can wear body armor and like fall on light bulbs, <laughs> um, bouncy balls. A mason jar in Slo <laughs> uh, Slovenia. <laughs> the big ass feet just stepping in. Boom, um, boom. <laughs> no, we need to get him to shoot. Uh, Scott's big ass gun, that four the bore, four that he yeah. lets like Eddie Hall and all the other dudes shoot. Normal size in my hands. I would like to see you do it shirtless, though. I'd like yeah. to see the ripple. Just, just. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's that's entertainment. Mm -hmm. Dude, you have to that's, bend down that's like every views. door. Every door this dude has to actually like bend down and go through. I hit my head on that thing so many times. <laughs> <laughs> you came over to when you came over to my house. That was the time you like. Oh, it felt nice because I didn't have to. They're so that, that was Eli bragging about having a nice house no, uh, with the big, big ass ceilings. And I feel like a hobbit in that house. It's fucking dope. You feel like, like a wow. hobbit in a normal house. <laughs> <laughs> they got Harry Potter underneath like here. A master <laughs> bedroom is underneath the stairs for him. I'm like, wow. Master, master has given Dobby a clock. <laughs> Your texts are <laughs> <laughs> Dobby's a free. What? <laughs> what? Do what? do what? <laughs> oh, oh, no. That will be for after the podcast. <laughs> what, Dobby? <laughs> oh, I, love Bobby. Group, I love this group of humans so much. Are we gonna gamble more? We had Jake the lawyer lose all. Jake, how much did you walk away with yesterday? Uh, I'm negative six hundred. Oh, that's plus, not bad. Plus my money. Yeah. Jake, so you 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 lost it, gained it back, and then decided to bet it all. <laughs> If that's not Las Vegas in a sentence. Oh. I, Where does the best response? Oh. <laughs> you told me to put it all on red. I said, oh. I said 20 on 7. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love my friends just watching him get drunk and then not try. Dude, Tweak was having the time of his life. I just seen you like, just lighting him and be like, pfft. This isn't my money. I'm gambling it all. <laughs> like, oh, our boy's going hard last night. That was funny as blast. Fun. Yeah, dude, everyone's just having a blast. I, that's what I love in Vegas is everyone just is their best version of themselves. So like, let's get fucking shit wrecked and see what okay. happens, Nick. <laughs> fucking shit wrecked. I didn't. I didn't get the memo. I like. I got the emails. I just didn't open them. I didn't know that it was like a formal event. I showed up dressed like this. Everybody else is in suits and shit. Well, last night I did. Yeah. He's, he's like the veteran version of Pat McAfee. It's just always <laughs> fucking real. Always in shirtless, you know, yeah. always has something to say that's, you know, intelligent. Um, you know, and if you don't like him, he's obnoxious as shit. Yep. That's fair. <laughs> 
Well, you were supposed to go to Tim's dinner. You didn't. But, well, you didn't. Have I got told I had to wear a blazer. I'm not doing it. I know. You, you didn't get told even... you had to wear a blazer. You got told you had to wear sleeves. Second I'm not amendment. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> right to bear arms. I don't care. Yeah. This fuck, what are you I talking mean, about? You were like, I want to be on that list. It's like, you got to find a blazer button. You're like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> like, yeah. That's how fast I'm going to drink with <laughs> Chris the Magician and smoke cigars. I texted him. I go, hey, what are we doing for dinner? What are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm at this thing. You need a, you got a blazer? Uh, I was like, nope. Long sleeve Oh, shirt. yeah. Sorry. Nope. I came to Vegas. Yeah. I packed my fucking blazer. No. Yeah, I'm a dad. Well, fuck you, man. I'm not running for Congress. Fuck uh, off. Fair enough. If you wear jeans and a blazer, you're a chode. I said it. <laughs> hey, fuck you, dude. That's my uniform. Mm -hmm. He looked really good. Case in point. A vote for chodes. <laughs> is a yeah. vote for Brandon Herrera. I'll endorse that one, too. Right. <laughs> Brandon, you want to well, close? Oh, wait. I was going to say, oh. now you can actually, with, with that chode line, you can be like, yeah, I got a gun and a small penis. Vote for Brandon Herrera. Yep. Take I'll, that, libtards. I'll disappoint <laughs> any woman you want. <laughs> Jesus fucking Yeah, Christ. so glad we, we extended the podcast <laughs> for that. I, I, I know that joke <laughs> really landed. Yeah. It was fucking great. The audience is now wanting more. I, I, I'm just picturing my fucking parents watching this episode. Just like, uh, A vote for unsub yeah. is a vote for Brandon Herrera. Correct. Thank you guys so much for watching the Unsubscribe <laughs> Podcast. I am joined by Fat Electrician, Angry Cops, and Eli. Thank you so much, and we'll probably see you sexy YouTube mother lovers. Later, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Crack me out.